Hello everyone and welcome back to I Am Root. In today's video, we're exploring another feature of Max Fisher PUBG account phishing. I'll show you how it works in a controlled environment so you can understand the dangers and learn how to protect yourself. This video is for educational purposes only. Unauthorized phishing or hacking is illegal and unethical. Always test on accounts and systems you own or have explicit permission to test. My goal is to help you recognize and prevent such attacks, not to promote them. Phishing is a social engineering technique where attackers create fake login pages to trick victims into sharing their credentials. In this case, they target PUBG players by mimicking official login portals. Once a user enters their username and password, those details go straight to the attacker instead of the real PUBG servers. How Max Fisher sets up PUBG phishing? First, make sure your Termix environment is updated. Type apt update and and apt upgrade hyphen y. Packages update and upgrade may take some time, so be patient. If you haven't installed Max Fisher yet, type pip3 install Max Fisher. Once it is installed, then simply execute Max Fisher. Here you will have options to carry out various types of phishing attacks, as we have discussed in the previous videos. As we know that our PUBG account is connected to Facebook and Gmail, so we will have to select the login option. Once Max Fisher is running, you'll see a list of options. Look for the PUBG login template. This template creates a fake PUBG login page design to look legitimate. Max Fisher then sets up a local server and provides a URL. The attacker typically sends this link to a target, claiming something like get free UC, PUBG suits, rewards, or PUBG special offer to lure the victim into clicking. When the victim visits that link and enters their PUBG login details, those credentials are captured by Max Fisher and displayed in your Termix terminal. That's how attackers steal PUBG accounts. Here's a quick demonstration in a controlled environment. Launch Max Fisher, select the login option. Select the PUBG template, copy the phishing link. Paste it in a browser simulating the victim's side. Enter fake login info. Switch back to Termix and see how the credentials appear in real time. This is exactly how attackers do it. But always remember, we're showing you this so you can understand and prevent it. Attackers often use Social media posts Get free UC by clicking this link. Emails and messages, posing as official PUBG support. In game chat, sharing malicious links during matches. The user sees a page with official looking PUBG branding, but it's actually a fake site set up by Max Fisher or a similar tool. How to protect yourself. Verify links, always check the URL carefully. Official PUBG login pages, won't have weird domains or suspicious subdomains. Use official apps and websites. Only log into PUBG through the official app or recognize third-party platforms like Google Play, Apple, or official social media logins. Avoid freebies or too-good-to-be-true offers. If a link promises free UC or exclusive in-game items, be skeptical. Scammers rely on curiosity and greed. Enable two-factor authentication. Use two-factor authentication if available. It won't guarantee 100% protection from phishing, but it adds an extra hurdle for attackers. Keep your device secure, regularly update your phone, run antivirus software if possible, and avoid installing unknown apps. That's it for our look into Max Fisher's PUBG phishing. You've seen how easily an attacker can clone a login page and trick unsuspecting gamers into handing over their credentials. Remember, this tutorial is purely for education. The best way to fight cybercrime is to know how it works so you can spot red flags and protect yourself. If you found this video helpful, 
hit the like button, subscribe to I am Root, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Stay ethical, stay safe, and happy hacking but always on the right side of the law. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.